Hey everyone, it's nearly Christmas, so I thought this week I'd retell a classic Christmas joke for everyone. One day, in the run-up to Christmas, a newspaper posted a question to Downing Street asking what Theresa May has asked Father Christmas for. There's of course a long and protracted debate in number 10 about the ethics of the question, you know, it can't be anything too fancy after all. And in the end, Theresa May lets the journalist know that she's just wanting some chocolates and a nice bottle of English sparkling wine to sit down with while she watches the Queen's speech on Christmas Day. Anyway, the next morning, the newspapers were a bloodbath. She turns on the radio to hear a Labour Party spokesman calling for her head. Apparently, there was a Guardian exclusive about how the Prime Minister was wanting to spend Christmas getting sloshed, while Jeremy Corbyn and all the other party leaders said that for Christmas, they were all praying for global peace, along with nuclear disarmament and goodwill to all men. Anyway, so to the real news world. What are the actual leaders around the world asking for for Christmas? Well, Catalonia's ousted leader has asked for fresh talks with Madrid after the separatist parties just won a slim majority in the recent regional elections. The SNP, well, they're calling for fresh talks with London. Well, because why not? It's been a while and they're closing their name, really. I imagine that Theresa May is asking Santa to speed up time so that March 2019 can roll around and she can finally resign having seen Brexit through to completion. President Trump, well, he's declared that the recent tax cut bill proves that he is Santa, so the question's kind of irrelevant. And his opponents agree, they want him to vacate the White House and disappear to the North Pole too, you know, for at least a year. The Chinese president's welcomed the economic boost in toy exports and has asked for the rampant commercialisation of more Western holidays. And finally, Diane Abbott, well, she's asking for someone to explain the advent calendar to her again because she's still struggling to find number 12 on it. Well, anyway, that's it for this week. I'm off to open a nice bottle of red now and see if I can find a film with Roger Moore, Alec Guinness or maybe Michael Caine in it. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody, and see you next week.